Welcome back designers to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this polar coordinates effect. Now this is a trend that's been going around a lot lately and I thought it'd be best to bring it to you guys. First thing you're going to need to do is get a person or an object or anything you really want just so you can make this effect. Um, the main thing is that you have something with a few colors so that it stands out as you can see I've got here. All you need is the image and then we can get started. So I'm going to pick my image now. If I move over to my images here here I as you can see I've got quite a few people jumping up in the air today for this video I'm gonna pick this red one here or orange I'm just gonna cut it out now you might have to do this as well I want to add a um, I want to add a gradient background to this just to make it look right so as you can see I've got a gradient background here which goes very nicely with the color and it works well with the circular effect what we're going to do is probably cut this out so if I just select this with the quick selection tool if I increase my brush size and then all I just need to do is go around and select it all it's not going to be perfect but it's just going to be a, a rough like outline as I said because it's only a YouTube video and I'm not doing this professionally if I was doing this for a client or anything I would probably take my time as you can see if you just quickly go around and select the whole thing it saves you a lot of time like so now if I layer mask this out you're going to see a little bit of difference and then I'm just going to double click go around the hair add it back in like so and just basically touch up the edges so I can just go around there maybe add the laces back in it doesn't really matter too much right so now I'm just going to uh, make sure I've got all the objects in so if I just want to brush them back in with the refine edge brush tool like so just make it sure it's all there now we've got our image all cut out all done next step is to create the gradient so if you select your background image which is locked and then you go down to your uh, selections panel down the bottom and then you just want to click gradient like so uh, depending on what colors you have in your picture actually as to see now as I have uh, got this gradient up I can see all this white bits in the image so I'm just gonna quickly go back to my refine edge and I'm just gonna go around and get rid of all of it so just so it doesn't look too uh, too hinderous on the design just so you can get rid of all the white don't overdo it though otherwise it will just look a bit stupid like so that that's good enough for me now I'm just gonna get go back to our gradient and I'm gonna go for probably an orange gradient maybe um, something like yeah a bit like that maybe that's probably better or it could be orange and blue maybe it's personal preference obviously you've got to link it to your image as well because otherwise if you don't link it to your image color it just won't look won't look right so I'm gonna do something like like so I'm just gonna increase the scale maybe something a bit like that um, it, it's personal preference as I said I'm gonna probably change it back to linear maybe I'm just gonna check what I had it on on the other thing yeah that's more of a radial effect if I just double click back on that and maybe move the blue up a bit so if I saturate a bit more like get it a bit nicer basically the gradient isn't too much the problem obviously there's a bit of white there and stuff I'm gonna leave that for now because I just want to get on with the tutorial so we've got our gradient we got our image the next thing we're gonna need to do is um, select areas of this so if you go to your rectangular select tool and you just need to drag down like so now if you do that then you're gonna go layer via copy so now you've got that little layer there so if you hold command T then you can hold alt and you can just and shift and you can just drag that across like so and then once you've done that basically that is all you need to do so we're just gonna go down here now and select some of the blue do the same thing again layer via not cut drag down there layer via copy and we've got another one of those now so I'm just gonna go command T again and hold alt and shift and just drag it across like so um, you're gonna make sure it fits the edges as well otherwise it just won't look right and then we're probably gonna get one more selection in now and we're just gonna select the boots probably I'm gonna do the blue and then the boot there bit of brown and then I'm gonna select my image and I'm just gonna go layer via copy so once again we got the same thing command T hold shift and alt and then you can just drag that across there we go now you're gonna move them all up to here so they all join and as you can see from doing that we've got our color coordination in line so obviously you've got the red at the top and then the jumper a bit of orange for the probably a bit of the skin as well and then you've got the blue for the jeans and the brown for the shorts so now what we're going to do is select all of these and then we're just gonna um, we're just gonna merge them all together so right click and then go merge layers so that's all one thing now what we need to do is just make it a little bit bigger and then we're just gonna drag it to the top now we've got it all at the top 
So the next thing to do is probably do the polar coordinates. So if we go filter and then we need to go to distort and then polar coordinates like so. And as you can see, it's going to make it like a spiral. Basically, that's what we want. Um, so you click rectangular to polar and by, like so. And now we've got our circle. So we're just going to hold command T again and we're just going to resize this so it fits the image basically now depending on what side you want this on uh, it's gonna hinder how you want the design to look so if I do that and then I move it below my uh, person because obviously you want it so I'm just gonna move that a bit sorry in the middle so you want it to position correctly so the right size is gonna be key so if I move that to about there and I can probably layer mask the rest of this out so it just looks like it's on this side like so now I'm just gonna okay that the next thing to do is to select layer mask and then you can get your brush tool get a hard brush um, and then you just need to paint away at this basically so as you can see if I paint away at it um, you can see the gradient just all that stuff all that can go and then we're gonna make the brush a bit bigger probably just paint away at all that and as you can see we have created this really cool effect obviously it helps with different different uh, models and different objects that you use to get the color I think the color works really nicely maybe the gradients not correct but obviously you can have a play around with that but the main thing here is um, learning how to use this polar coordinates obviously it looks quite good there bending around there but obviously I think it would look a bit better if it went to that shoe but it's a bit big to go to that next shoe so you could either flip it and have it on the other side which I might try but it's completely up to you. it's trial and error I think this is a really good technique to learn because you can use this in many projects and thumbnails and anything really that you want to use it on that's all for this video guys I hope you've learned something today and I hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time